Okay, in this uh, follow-up video, we have demonstrated earlier how to use Excel Quick Analysis to build up our chart for presentation, uh, analyzing data for trend, outliers, and making decisions on probably where to invest your money using this uh, scenario of someone who has three stores and selling pencil, ball pen, bath towel, ring binder, and glue stick. And you look at the different stores, you see the sales coming through each of them. And you can determine which product is making the greatest sale for you and which store. So if we are to look at it in this uh, chart here, we know store B is ranking highest in the sales of, uh, sorry, not store B, store C. Store C is ranking uh, highest in the sales of bath towel, followed by B, then A. So if you want to buy more bath towel, you'll probably stock up more on in the store C. So that's about that. Now the next thing we want to look at here is assuming you want to remove some of the elements of your table maybe you decide I'm not selling pencil again so I just want to, this is what you do you go to this table right here you click on this because you not you now have opportunity opportunity to change the elements so you can change the title you can look at and see how we're doing now you can decide to put the table below the chart so if you want it see we have changed it we have put the table and the chart together so the chart is now sitting on top of the so at a glance you can present your data and your chart together so the source of the data is right there then let's look at trend, trend line. So we want to add trend line based on store A. See, this is trend line for store A. Let's delete it, just right click and you delete the trend line for store A. Let's do the one for stop B. You see? It's increasing. But that of store A, you see that it's decreasing. I'll put the one for store B and store A back there. See? Right from 200, uh, below 200, now to above 400 here. But for that's the trend for stop B. For let's remove that. Let's put uh, store A back. You see store A. You see the trend starts around 200 and declined. So let's now go to C. Store C. Just keep clicking on that and changing it here. Store C, you can see it's increasing, but relatively uh, not that a sharp increase according to the trend line. So that's how to do some some of the analysis that you can do using the excel quick analysis okay let's put axis to so 
the axis tool, I will remove data table. Okay, so here you can decide to annotate this. So this you can decide to call this quantity sold. Quantity sold. That's that. So you have been able to annotate that axis. And this is the chart title. You can decide to give it any title you want. So you see, you can actually analyze, you can create your table and analyze within few minutes and be ready for presentation. So let's call this Gen, Gen Z stars source A B C A B and C saves. All right, so that's it. So with this, you have created your table, and if you want to, if you want to do anything at all, you want to make any modification to your table, just click anywhere here on the charts, and it will bring up this. So you can also change the style of the of the charts. Let's click on this. So you see different styles. Let's change it to this. Then you can change color. You don't want to take for a background any color that is in your bar. So you probably want to go for any color that is not. So, so you can play around to see what color will come out better for visualization because that is very important when you are presenting okay so and this is chat filter so if you have this you can decide to remove let's re decide to remove pencil We've removed pencil now and we apply. You see, we now have only the ball pen, back to well, ring binder, and glue stick that we are analyzing. We've removed pencil. Let's remove another one too. Let's remove uh, glue stick. Let's remove it and click apply. So we have just three items now that we are comparing. And that is how you can use quick uh, Excel quick analysis. I'll stop the video here. Look out for our next video. Thank you.